Welcome back to Destructoid's video channel. This month has been full of hotly anticipated games. Destiny, The Taken King, Forza Motorsport 6, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, Mad Max, the list goes on. However, next month will arguably mark the true beginning of the holiday season of madness. It will also see the releases of 343 Industries' biggest game to date, Halo 5 Guardians. Say, before we make this jump, anybody want to say a few words? I figure if God can hear how scared I am, so can everyone else. Coming off of the controversial Halo The Master Chief Collection, which continues to face many bugs and errors such as long matchmaking times, save game bugs, unbalanced teams, control issues, almost a year after launch, Halo 5 Guardians symbolizes a shift in design for the series in many ways. Along with presenting a brand new story that questions Master Chief's identity, several new gameplay mechanics including reviving down teammates, issuing squad commands, and new multiplayers like Warzone are being introduced. Some of the more controversial new design choices, however, are related directly to one's abilities as a Spartan. These include the ability to sprint, hover in place with a jetpack, and execute ground pounds that can either cause significant damage or kill enemies outright. Obviously, many of these were routinely criticized when footage for the multiplayer beta of Halo 5 Guardians made the rounds. Several players who took the changes well still commented on how Halo's multiplayer had begun to resemble Call of Duty in many ways, especially in its highly competitive nature and fast-paced action. Of course, since this was a beta, 343 Industries had taken the necessary balancing steps for several abilities, including the Spartan Sprint. Looking back on the franchise reveals that 343 Industries hasn't always been the good guy when it comes to changes in multiplayer. When it first introduced Halo 4's Spartan abilities, there was a huge uproar from players regarding balance. The overall design of the multiplayer was called into question for many other reasons, but it was ultimately the Spartan abilities which took the brunt of the criticism. The same concerns became understandable when Halo 5's multiplayer beta had concluded. If you've been so used to hip-firing a number of weapons, how would you suddenly react to aiming down sights? Changes like these sound minor, but when you consider how long the Halo multiplayer meta has endured, even the smallest changes can make a world of difference. With the most recent reveal of the game's opening cutscene involving Fireteam Osiris and the display of the ground pound, there was a fresh outcry about the game again catering more to the Call of Duty crowd. The most obvious reference is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which introduced ground pound to the franchise that could be spammed quite frequently to kill enemies in a single bound. Thankfully, a developer from 343 clarified some of these concerns on NeoGAF, stating that it's like a team-oriented assassination from my perspective. There's a risk, but you could do some splash damage that can help your team if they're paying attention. It's also a lot like a special in a fighting game. If you screw it up, you're a doofus. If you pull it off, you're a hero. And the game is balanced to accentuate both. It was further noted that physics and the shape of one's target affect the damage of the ground pound. The same dev noted that it's all like physics though. If you ground pound a flying vehicle, you'll hit it, presumably causing damage and slide off of it. I bet if it's on the ground, skidding banshee, and you go dead center, you'll smash. Did these clarifications help alleviate all the worries of the hardcore crowd? Maybe not, but there is at least some reasoning behind implementing such an ability beyond further decreasing time to kill or offering players something overpowered to spam. If one wants to look at games that are doing this, then Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is following the example of Destiny and implementing supers on top of its signature killstreaks, resulting in even more opportunities for quick deaths. So while it's not all that bad for Halo 5 Guardians to try and do something different from past releases, evolving the formula in its own way, it's still inherently Halo. Running, gunning, and twitch shooting will only take you so far here. Hopefully, as 343 receives more feedback on Halo 5 Guardians' changes to Spartan abilities, it will continue to work and further balance these skills. But what are your thoughts on the matter? Do you think Halo 5 Guardians' Spartan abilities will make or break the entire experience? Or will they simply be co-stars to the Halo gameplay we know and love? Please subscribe if you like this video, and as always, leave your comments below to let us know what you think.